Hi guys and welcome back. At the end of this video you will understand how to use the transformer ratio formulas to be able to calculate the voltage, current and turns of a transformer. In a previous video I explained why the voltage and turns of a step down transformer will go down by a certain factor and why the current will go up by a certain factor. I did put a link in the description below so you can also watch that specific video. So subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. So without wasting your time, let's get started on the calculation. Okay, so what we can see here guys is we already have the information about the transformer. The best way of approaching a calculation like this is what I do is I have the transformer symbol which I put down and then I have all of the information that they are giving me and I put that information on my primary side and if I have values I will put it onto my secondary side as well. All right. So that is going to be the best way of approaching a transformer calculation like this. So the first thing that we will calculate is we will calculate what is my secondary voltage of my transformer. But before I calculate my voltage, first I want to show you what we talk about when we talk about the transformer ratio formulas. So I will show you that first and then we will start calculating. So guys, this is what my ratio formula looks like. There I have my first ratio, which is my voltage ratio. There I have my current ratio, and sorry, my turns ratio, and there I have my current ratio. So how you will calculate these uh, values of the voltage, current, and turns is by using these ratios together, which means, for instance, um, my voltage and my turns ratio, or you can use the voltage and current ratio together, or you can use the turns and current ratio together. So I will show you this now. So the first ratios that I'm going to use is the voltage and turns ratio. Although I don't have both of the turns, I only have the primary turns which I have here, I do have the turns ratio of the transformer, which means I can use that with a voltage ratio to calculate what is the secondary voltage. And that is going to be V1 over V2 is equals to N1 over N2. Um, yeah, I'm going to get 250 over Vs, which is my secondary voltage, which is equals to 4 to 1, which is my turns ratio. What I need to do here is I need to make Vs the subject of my formula. And then I'm going to get that. That is going to be 250 multiplied by 1 divided by 4, which will give me 62.5 volts. All right, so on your sketch now, what you can do is actually put in that voltage there, because now you can actually make use of that voltage to calculate something else. So the next thing that we will calculate is we will calculate what is the secondary current of this transformer. So now what I'm going to use is I'm going to actually use that value, and I'm going to use the voltage and current ratio to calculate what is my secondary current for this transformer right so that is going to be v1 over v2 is equals to i1 i2 over i1 which will give me 250 over 62.5 which is equals to i2 divided by 100 times 10 to the power of minus 3 and the reason for the 10 to the power of minus 3 is because we have milliamps right so i need to make i2 the subject of my formula so there we have I2, which is equals to 250, multiplied by 100, multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3, divided by 62.5, and I'm going to get that my secondary current for this transformer is 0 0.4 amps. So again, plotting the value that you have calculated, there I have my secondary current. Next, I need the secondary turns of my transformer. So I'm now going to use my turns and current ratio to calculate what is the secondary turns of my transformer. And that is going to be 150 divided by Ns, 
which is equals to 0 0.4 divided by 100 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 3. And I'm going to get that my second returns for this transformer is 37.5. So now the next thing that I'm going to show you is I'm going to use the voltage and the turns ratio to also calculate my turns here. So if I use my voltage and turns ratio, I'm going to have 250 over 62.5, which is equals to 150 divided by NS, which is my uh, second returns. I must make that the subject of the formula. So NS is equals to 150 divided by, oh sorry, 150 multiplied by 62.5 divided by 250, which will also give me 37.5 turns on my secondary side of my transformer. Now guys, in case you were wondering why I can also use my voltage and my turns ratio, to calculate the turns on my secondary side and that is because my voltage turns and current ratio are equal to each other which means if we take this scenario here we can use the turns and the current ratio to calculate the turns on the secondary side or we can use my voltage and turns ratio to calculate the turns on my secondary side so guys, in case you were wondering why I can do this, in the sense of also using the voltage and the turns ratio to calculate the turns on my secondary, and that is because my voltage, turns, and current ratio are equal to each other. Which means, if we take this scenario here, I can use the turns and the current ratio to calculate the turns on my secondary, and I can also use the voltage and turns ratio to calculate the turns on my secondary side of my transformer. So guys, I have come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that now you know and understand how to use the transformer ratio formulas together to be able to uh, calculate a specific value. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for the next upload. Thank you very much.